Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I am working on a brand new metallic black Dodge Ram, or I should say just Ram. <clears throat> uh, so far all I've gotten done is the prep part. So it's clean. And then I did a couple of test polishing spots. Um, to figure out what's going to work the best and uh, what I ended up with is cutting with infinite cut and then um, polishing with universal all in one and if you'll notice it's not perfect but it's really close see all those swirls and scratches uh, my customer said that uh, the dealer took it through their car wash a couple times and then he washed it but you can see the huge difference in clarity and uh, all these swirl marks are gone right here there's still a little bit left but it's a new truck and I am going to be applying my Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid Coating System Universal Coating Pro and Ultra Endurance Max Coat Pro uh, I'm going to be applying those and I don't know how long he plans on keeping the truck, but the best order of business is to get it that close to awesome and basically protect, uh, especially it's on, because it's on a brand new truck. So infinite cut followed by infinite, uh, I'm sorry, universal all in one. And this paint is hard as a rock. Uh, Universal all-in-one by itself would not touch that because of how hard it is, but it is finishing it fantastically, as you can see. So, I'm going to keep rocking and rolling with that process all the way around, and uh, I will basically give you updates throughout the detail, but you can see where it started and how hazy and nasty it is. and uh, where I'm taking it and that's pre-coating and my polishes both of them universal all-in-one and infinite cut are water-based so you get a shorter working time which ends up being faster results so you get the same work done in less time and then the other benefit to it is uh, you're basically VOC free so that there's no volatile organic compounds that are bothering you while you're using it and um, It's awesome So Those are the results. This is the truck and uh, I'm just gonna keep on keeping on with that combo and we'll be back shortly to show you some more results All right, I know it's a little dark right here, but uh, So I have already compounded everything. I'm just doing the final polishing step I'm uh, just gonna let you guys watch me polish for a few minutes. Uh, I know some of, you, some of you guys request to see me doing things, so here you go. It's me polishing with the Harbor Freight DA, a Buff and Shine five and a half inch orange pad, and uh, my Universal All-in-One. Now, the reason I'm using the orange pad and not a finer finishing pad is because and because that's a medium cutting, light or heavy polishing pad. Um, is because this paint is hard as a rock super hard and uh, getting good results just gotta keep on moving so uh, I'm gonna get back to work all right kids came home from school so now I had to I mean I had to cut now I'm back so I'm about to polish four dots five dots there's five dots there can't even count and uh, my cord control clip I don't polish without it you shouldn't either
that, as they say, is that. You'll notice how easy Universal All-in-One wipes away. Brilliant finish. Lots of gloss. No swirl marks. Very few random isolated deeper scratches left after infinite cut. And as I do most of the time, I sell a process. I do not sell a percentage. So when it comes to selling your paint correction jobs, if you will, the problem is you don't want the customer to get this number in mind and they're just like, oh, well, you told me 98% and I see more than 2%. It's complicated. You want to not complicate the customer and that's exactly what I do. And I'm mentioning this specifically because I don't know that I've mentioned it before. And um, what's new about that is you have to keep perspective and keep what you promised the customer at the fore forefront, period. You walk around the customer, you, uh, you take and keep the emphasis on what the customer points out, which I have already done. I got some scratches out. You want to keep the emphasis that the customer put on certain item, items on the forefront. You want to make sure that you focus on dealing with the issues that the customer points out in your initial walk around. You got to make sure that that customer understands that you did what they were looking for you to do. So what I promised this customer is I sold them the one system package, which is all of the whole one system. There are seven products. I'll use six on this vehicle. Um, just because I did a rinseless wash, not a traditional wash. So I didn't use Universal Shampoo, which is a fantastic soap if you uh, need a soap. Anyway, but I sold him a cutting pass and a polishing pass. And what that means to pretty much anybody is you're going to get uh, one section pass of each product all the way around the vehicle. So I'll do uh, two to three passes as a section pass uh, for my polishes. You can work other polishes more, but we engineer mine to basically work smarter, not harder. So you get more work done in less time with my polishes than you do with most other ones, especially because they're water-based. So the water is the lubricant and that will basically dry up faster than a solvent-based one will, but it's safer on, on the person using it and the environment being water-based and VOC free, which is all my polishes. So anyway, I sold him a cutting pass. So I went around the whole vehicle with a blue heavy cutting buff and shine pad with infinite cut. It got a lot of the defects out. It is not perfect because we know perfection is not reality. And then on top of that, I sold him the one system. So the one system package plus a compounding step is what this one is getting and it looks great. It's not perfect, but he's gonna drive it a lot. He uses it daily, and that's really all you need, especially if it's not a garage queen or a show queen or whatever else it could be. So anyway, process is what I sold, not perfection or percentage. So uh, I'm gonna get back to work and um, we'll, show you what's up when we're done i guess all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls this 2020 dodge ram or ram i should say is all done and it looks awesome the metallic in this is just stupid awesome paint looks amazing Lots of gloss it didn't have before. Very reflective. No more swirl marks. We definitely have some random isolated deeper scratches, but like I said before, I don't sell perfection because perfection isn't reality, but I sell awesome and that's exactly what we have here. You can see, oh man, that metallic is just awesome. So, 
We did the uh, full on, I say we, it was just me. I did the full one system treatment. So it got a uh, wash with infinite use detail juice one. I used a quarter of an ounce per gallon. Used one gallon to wash this thing. Then I clay barred with my Japanese clay. After that, I wiped it all down with universal clean and prep, diluted one part product to four parts water. Seemed to work great in the uh, 60 degree weather we had today. Uh, we got a factory dust nib right here. Right there. And uh, he had a bunch of scratches right there. Those are all gone. Um, I love these mirrors. They actually fold down when you don't want to tow. Um, after the universal clean and prep, I cut it with infinite cut. This paint is hard as a rock. So after infinite cut, I followed it with universal all in one, which is what you saw me earlier polishing with. And, uh, after that, I did wipe the whole thing down again with, with, uh, universal clean and prep just because you don't have to. I did, I put an extra thick coat of the Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid coating uh, deal, which is uh, Universal Coating and Ultra Endurance Max Coat uh, Pro mixed together. And man, it's glossy. I coated everything, all the paint, headlights, taillights, chrome, exhaust tips, all the glass, the wheels got treated with the pro coatings. Uh, what you're looking at on the tires is a very light coat at one part product to, I believe, six parts water of the universal dressing. That stuff's awesome. I love it. It is my favorite dressing by far. It lasts a lot longer. It's a lot more weather resistant than uh, transform dressing um, with the same levels of gloss, but, but to get a sprayable version of transform dressing, which is in my infinite lineup, I've had that product for about nine years, um, to get transform dressing to do what this does, uh, you've got to dilute it 50-50 with water. And to dilute universal dressing, like I said, it's one part product to six parts water, to give you this. So universal dressing lasts longer and it's more versatile because you can uh, dilute it more and get a better result than transform dressing. So if you love that look right there, that's one part product, six parts water of uh, universal dressing. So after I got done coating this thing. I let it sit on the entire vehicle for about 20 minutes. Um, like I said, it's about 63 degrees uh, What was the high today. So I let it sit for about 20 minutes and then I just hand polished it off and it just came right off like a dream. It's slick. It's glossy. It looks amazing. On the interior, I mean, I'll tell you what, I'm, I haven't been a Dodge or a Ram guy ever in my life. And I, I can honestly say that I just never really preferred them. But man, these things are nice. Look at this interior. I did coat all of the leather on the interior with Universal uh, Coating Pro by itself. Only Universal Coating Pro, not Ultra Endurance Max Coat. You cannot use that in the, in the interior. Universal Coating and Universal Coating Pro can be used on your leather. And notice the very natural look that it left behind. I went ahead and this, I didn't charge him to do the interior. It was just so new, I kind of felt like I, I just had to do it. So I coated the leather and uh, just vacuumed it out and wiped the door jams, nothing fancy. But she's nice and she's done. So, That's it, baby. 
All right, guys, if you got questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Um, I am more than willing to help you with any of your detailing endeavors that you might be going through or have questions about, and I will support my products 100%. And uh, if I can help you and you're not using my products, uh, I probably can't give you a whole lot of product information, but I can definitely help you with application and my suggestions if you need them. So check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. Ugh, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. That's the best place to learn about all my sales that I have, um, about new product releases, technical product talk. I mean, there's lots of people in there using the products, talking about them and that kind of thing. So um, if you want to get in there, send us a request. We'll get you in there. And um, that's it. Dodge, no, I keep saying that. Ram, done. It's a Ram 1500 Longhorn Edition. Man, that thing is sweet. Um, do I look good by it? Do I need one? I don't know. Maybe. All right, guys, if you got questions for me, let me know. Um, the one system is my top of the line. So if you want to skip to the best, just buy all seven of the One System products. You can buy them from two ounce all the way up to a gallon. Well, I can sell them to you in five gallon increments, but they're the most concentrated in my line as well. So you don't need that much. So thanks so much for listening to me babble. I appreciate each and every one of you guys who take the time to watch my videos. Have a great day.